It is very normal and healthy for a child to grow up with the idea of heroes. People with superpowers they can look up to, like Spider-Man or Superman. In my childhood, I had a different type of heroes. Growing up in what used to be called Soviet Union, I was influenced by the stories of real heroes, we like to call the Refuseniks. They were brave men and women fighting against communism. They suffered tremendously. They were put in jail for many years without seeing their family. They were put hard labor in Siberia, but yet nothing could stop them fighting for their Jewish identity. Those are my heroes, not Spider-Man, not Superman. Their names were Nathan Sharansky, Rav Itzhak Zilber, and Yosef Mendelevich. Two years ago, I was privileged to meet Nathan Sharansky. It was a very important moment in my life. I always wanted to ask him one question, and finally, I got the opportunity. Mr. Sharansky, how did you find strength and courage to go through cruel suffering they put you in Soviet Union? His answer changed my life. He told me, in fact, it wasn't easy, and sometimes he couldn't bear it anymore. But his biggest motivation was the Maccabees from the Hanukkah story. He felt like he was one of them. Very few refuseniks fighting against the mighty Soviet regime. In the time of the Hanukkah, for Jews in Israel, accepting Greek culture upon themselves was becoming very trendy. After all, it was very modern, enlightening, scientific, and universal. And Judaism was only regarded as an old-fashioned religion. Acquiring a Greek culture was a passport for a first-class citizen. But the Maccabees were not willing to give up their identity. They were idealists. They were fearless. They were willing to fight for it. Our rabbis teach us that the battle between Hashmonaim, the Maccabees, and the Ivanim, the Greeks, was fought on two fronts. There was a physical battle between the two armies on the battlefield, but there was also a battle between two different lifestyles. The Hellenist style, personified by the Greeks, and the pure dedication of Hashmonaim to God and his Torah. The word Maccabee is an acronym for Mika Moicho Boelim Hashem, who is like you among God's Hashem. It's a dedication to Hashem and his Torah. The battle the Maccabees were fighting was a great war, not for the sake of power or land, but for the sake of religious ideals. Rabbi Noah Weinberg, the founder of Eish Shiva, always used to tell his students, figure out what you're willing to die for, but then live for it. That could have been the motto for the Maccabees. They were willing to die for God and his Torah. As we light the candles on Hanukkah and commemorate the heroic deeds of our forefathers, the Maccabees, we should ask ourselves, how is this message still relevant to me living in 21st century? There's no army waiting for us outside, and there's no more gulags, the labor camps. But yet, we can ask ourselves, how strong is my belief in Hashem? And despite all difficulties we're going through in our life, am I as strong as a refusenik to fight for my religious beliefs? I wish you all a friendly Hanukkah.